All right, well, fire crews making significant progress on the Dollar Ridge fire in Duchesne County. The wildfire is 30% contained, and residents in three evacuation zones can now return to their houses. News for Utah's Rosie Nguyen was at the American Red Cross Volunteer Center. She has details on what this means for their shelter. Volunteers with the American Red Cross close the shelter here at Duchesne High School at 6 p.m. But the center will remain open from at least 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. beginning tomorrow if anyone still needs to swing by to grab supplies. Those who have donated their time here want to make sure that anyone who's been affected by the Dollar Ridge fire gets the help that they need. We need help in Duchesne. Dewey DePoma came all the way from Pleasant View to help out with relief efforts in Duchesne County. This is his first time volunteering with the American Red Cross, and after being here for seven days, he says the emotions are starting to kick in. I think it's kind of build up. I haven't been this emotional all the trip, but we're starting to wind down, and I guess I'm winding down now. I am so proud to be a member of the Red Cross and to help people. DePoma is one of 29 volunteers who have assisted more than 900 evacuees who came through their shelter at Duchesne High School. Melissa Karen lives in Duchesne County but was not affected by the fire. She says she couldn't just stand by and immediately jumped in to help. I was sick. <laughs> just sick to my stomach, just sick for all the people who were in harm's way, just sick for those who, you know, were going to lose everything or even just sick for them not knowing what they're, you know, going to lose or what's going to happen. Together, volunteers collected piles and piles of food, water, clothing, and toiletries, even spending 42 hours straight without sleep to make sure the shelter was ready for evacuees. It's kind of a bittersweet feeling because you feel good because you're there to help somebody when they really need it. But at the same time, when you hear of the devastation and the loss that they've incurred, it's, it's equally as heartbreaking. As evacuees return home and face the devastation of nearly 50,000 acres burned, community members want them to know the city of Duchesne will stick together through the road to recovery. And just to know that if anything ever happens like this again, we, we can do it. You know, we can do hard things and we're going to make it through out on the other side. Fire officials asked drivers traveling on Highway 40 to please adhere to the 35 mile per hour speed limit. They will be holding a community meeting tomorrow night at Duchesne High School at 7 p.m. for the latest updates on the Dollar Ridge Fire. Reporting in Duchesne, Rosie Nguyen, News for Utah.